Okay, so my topic today is the business involvement based learning in the clinical trials management master program. So I will start with a short introduction of our university. Uh, the Medical University of Sofia is the oldest medical in, uh, institution in Bulgaria. It is established in uh, 1917, and uh, we celebrated uh, seven years ago our um, 100 years uh, univers anniversary. The structure of the Medical University of Sofia uh, is presented on this slide. We have four faculties. Faculty of Medicine, uh, Faculty of Dental Medicine, Faculty of Pharmacy, and uh, Faculty of Public Health. So I'm part of, uh, of this faculty. We have also Medical College. We have Center for, Languages tra for Language Training, Physical Training, and Sport. And we have, of course, a Central Medical Library. And we have uh, one branch, one uh, subsidiary in uh, in a small town uh, here close to Sofia, in Vratza. So in this subsidiary, we are offering almost the same um, the same uh, programs like in the Faculty of Public Health. So in total, in the university, we have uh, 1,370 teachers, and we have more than 10,000 students. Um, within these numbers uh, are also the, the numbers of our foreign students. We have many foreign students here, and we have um, about uh, 380 PhD students. Uh, so we are, um, according to the accreditation um, and uh, the, the rankings uh, in Bulgaria, uh, we have uh, the first place uh, for all five uh, professional fields like medicine, dental medicine, pharmacy, public health, and healthcare. And uh, we are also the leader in Bulgaria um, for the uh, scientific production, uh, of course, in our field in the medical biological uh, sciences. And we are offering uh, more than 20 years um, in English, uh, uh, English study programs. About uh, the faculty, very short, uh, the faculty is established in 1995 as a faculty of nursing uh, with the support of the Stability Pact and in partnership with the World Health Organization and um, uh, with uh, leading institutions, leading uh, universities as well um, within the European uh, Union. And uh, since 2001, uh, this former Faculty of Nursing has been renamed in the Faculty of Public Health. And um, uh, this is actually the first Faculty of Public Health established in Bulgaria. After that are um, other six or seven faculties established. We have uh, 10 departments. We have Department of Health Policy and Management, we have Department of Social Medicine, Health Economics. Um, we have Department of Nursing Care, which is our biggest department. They have um, more than 40 um, department members. Um, we have Department of Bioethics, Department of Preventive Medicine, Occupational Health. I'm uh, presenting the Department of Health Technology Assessment. We have Department of Physiotherapy and Department of Medical Pedagogy. Um, uh, what is um, maybe special for our university is that uh, the Department of Social Medicine and the Department of Bioethics, uh, they are also delivering lectures to the um, uh, medical students and to the um, to other students from the pharmacy and the dental medicine uh, faculty uh, in this field. So this means that uh, these departments are based in our faculty, but uh, they are teaching also other students outside our faculty, but within the university. Here you can see our bachelor and master programs. Uh, you can see that we have a bachelor and master in public health and health management. Uh, we have uh, healthcare management for bachelor and master. Uh, we have nursing, midwifery, physiotherapy, medical aid as bachelor programs, uh, which are meeting the state requirements for medical professionals education. And we have uh, uh, other master programs. 
So we're um, very flexible in uh, offering um, master programs within the field of public health because it is not uh, that there are no uh, state requirements for the uh, courses uh, within the master program and, um, and this make us, makes us um, very flexible and uh, we can meet very easily uh, the, the market demand of professionals. So we are offering master in occupational health, clinical medical care, strategical man management in the pharmaceutical industry, medical rehabilitation and bioneology, medical cosmetics. So I will speak after this slide about the clinical trials management. So I'm the director of this program and um, it is uh, our um, one of our uh, big successes within the university and within the faculty. So I would like to give you um, a small introduction about the clinical trials. Um, I'm not sure if you're um, uh, very informed about the clinical trials. So uh, actually the clinical trials are or has have to meet um, the most regulations uh, in the world. So to, uh, to get um, a medicine on the market, uh, it it uh, takes uh, a lot of years, a long period, and a lot of money. So um, about the regulations uh, of clinical trials, uh, the following institutions are involved. The Ministry of Health, we have health law and drug law. We have the Bulgarian Drug Agency, ethics committees, which, are, um, uh, which could be met uh, in... Uh, or at different levels, like national level or um, institutional level, hospital level, etc. And we have the Bulgarian Association of uh, Clinical Research. Uh, so something special for Bulgaria maybe is that uh, we kept uh, from um, our socialism time uh, some national research centers uh, for diseases like uh, the Center for Oncology, Cardiovascular Disease, uh, Radiobiology, Rehabilitation Neurology. We have a special national center for hygiene, public health, and of course for health information. So um, these are the, the national centers uh, which are dealing with the um, um, with the most uh, difficult cases uh, within uh, these uh, diseases. Um, short about the Bulgarian Association of Clinical Research, uh, it was registered in 2003 as an independent non-governmental organization and uh, the organization has more than 135 um, members like um, um, private persons, but they are a very small amount. Uh, we have uh, here all the pharmaceutical uh, companies, uh, lawyers, medical doctors, hospitals, so a big amount of um, and, and a variety of uh, members. So the purposes uh, of the association uh, are common and guarantee the high standard in conducting clinical trials. Um, they guarantee the participation of the, of the Bulgarian professionals in the procedures for preparation of uh, regulatory documents consistent with international requirements and practice, and uh, they guarantee the choice, the free choice of the Bulgarian patients to get accessible quality and safe medications. So now about the clinical trials uh, management. Uh, we started in 2018-2019 uh, academic year. And um, this is a master program, which is very rare. Um, I don't know if you um, search about, about this, uh, this kind of programs, but they are less than 10 in the world. And uh, the difficulties um, which... Um, the universities or the educational, the higher educational institutions are meeting um, 
to to launch such kind of program is uh, that the clinic controls management is um as is is a field of uh, business and uh, of course very strict regulated um, as i said this is the the strictest regulated field in the world and uh, to attract professors and to attract um, um, educators uh, from the business uh, is very difficult. And uh, of course, uh, this is because of the money, because they're um, uh, making um, um, good money there. So they don't have the time to deliver lectures, to give lectures to the students. But we find a way. So um, what we are giving uh, as, um, as uh, skills, knowledges uh, to our students, you can see that we, can, um, we are giving um, a knowledge about the organizational management in the clinical trials, the coordination, uh, control functions and economic functions, and of course, the research and uh, the medical writing after that. So uh, the professional competencies are um, focused on the administration of clinical trials, of the development of uh, design for comprehensive clinical trials protocol from the development of the research questions from the beginning to the analysis of the results after the end of the clinical trial. Um, we are training the students also in communication with patients because um, one of the uh, biggest problems uh, within the clinical trials, uh, which is actually also an uh, economical problem because the clinical trials are very expensive, is that uh, um, is to keep the patients in the clinical trial. So the communication between um, uh, doctor, nurses, patients, and other administrative staff is very, very important. Uh, we are uh, educating them in the legal and bioethic uh, rules, uh, of course, in the monitoring and audit of uh, clinical trials, and in the marketing and uh, um, marketing and marketing management of clinical trials, and of course, pharmaceutical products. Uh, what they can uh, do after that, what they can work, they can be uh, project managers, they can uh, work as uh, clinical trial designers, uh, they can work as uh, CRA, this is the clinical research uh, associate, um, they can work in the quality assurance of clinical trials, and of course, uh, as consultants and experts in uh, management and administrative structures. So what is our um, business uh, uh, involvement-based learning approach? Um, we, um, we have uh, more than 30% of um, our educators, of um, our teachers within this master program are coming from the business. They're coming from companies uh, uh, for clinical trials or uh, from hospitals. Um, some of our uh, educators are um, uh, principal investigators in uh, clinical trials and uh, they are working um, almost a um, long period of time within uh, or with clinical trials in, um, in their uh, specific uh, medical field. So the business involvement is um, actually something what is uh, strengthening the future job perspective and achievement and is um, from my point of view um, absolutely needed uh, for uh, master programs. So we're integrating also the real world industry practices uh, into, into curriculum. Um, we in included the practitioners in the teaching process, not uh, only as lecturers, but also uh, the students are uh, going to, to different centers and uh, they're making their 
uh, practical trainings. So we have also annual improvement of the curriculum according to the newest regulations and uh, practices, because as I said before, the clinical trials um, is um, a very innovative area. Uh, many, many uh, new drugs uh, or um, medical products, medicinal products, excuse me, and um, um, other uh, therapies are coming to the market. So um, before that, they have to go through the clinical trials regulations and um, procedures. And we have, of course, an uh, alumni club for our students. So teaching staff um, coming from the university, um, uh, it was decided to um, also invite uh, lecturers, professors from the other uh, medical universities in Bulgaria, because um, every medical university has a specific area of interest and of research where um, they are absolutely uh, the, the top researchers. So uh, we decided to invite um, also academicians uh, from outside the university, of course, business owners, clinical trial companies, pharmaceutical companies. Uh, we have teachers from the contact research organizations, from hospitals and from the regulatory agencies. Um, former um, executive directors and uh, um, the, the executive director now of the Bulgarian uh, Drug Agency are um, also a part of the educators within uh, this master program. Um, what is special, uh, very, very special, and uh, um, I think this is uh, something what is uh, giving to our students um, this uh, special touch of, um, of the master program. Uh, first of all, they're visiting uh, the companies and the sites. They are working on case studies. Um, case studies are medical case studies or management case studies, but we have also case studies, we are receiving case studies also from the Bulgarian Association for Clinical Research, where uh, we have also case studies uh, uh, from the regulatory, uh, from the regulators, like regulatory case studies um, about the regulatory compliance, and also um, they are working on budgeting and uh, project management. Um, very special, we have um, a contract with uh, one company um, uh, for clinical uh, research where our students are going to and um, uh, seeing the innovative data management system approach in the drug storage. Um, this is special because uh, um, no external visitors are allowed to enter uh, these um, uh, special places. And um, it is um, actually uh, very important uh, for our students to, to see uh, the real uh, life within the clinical trials um, and also to uh, to touch the um, uh, the the documents and uh, um, to have this um, point of view uh, within the the whole procedures and um, they are visiting and communicating with the patients involved in clinical trials in the different medical facilities of course, um, special documents are uh, signed before these uh, um, visits and before these meetings. So actually, everything is um, everything is fine. Uh, I have two more slides here um, to tell you about uh, this uh, master program. What actually our students are thinking about. Um, Ms. Zasheva was a student uh, from our last um, uh, 
uh, last um, academic year. Uh, she graduates already, so here is uh, her statement. The master's degree in clinical trials management is a wonderful start for uh, getting to know the most important aspects of clinical trials, as well as an opportunity to deepen the knowledge and skills. I really enjoyed the lectures and practices, and I recommend to everyone who has interest or is already working in clinical trials. Uh, one more in the master's degree in clinical trials management, uh, serious theoretical knowledge is supplemented with real practical approaches and examples, forming a comprehensive view of the various aspects of this activity and its place in the pharmaceutical business. Speakers include academia, business and regulatory bodies, which is extremely useful and provides valuable experience for both beginners and professionals in the field. And one more, the Master of Science gave me the opportunity to look at the processes and stages in the clinical trials in a different way, which were explained with clear examples from lawyers, industry people, epidemiologists, statisticians, and doctors. Thanks to them, I was able to learn many key details that were unknown to me until now. Although I'm involved in clinical research, the knowledge gained during my studies in the Faculty of Public Health will help me with my professional development in this field. So um, thank you very much. And I'm here to answer your questions.